Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. And today guys, I want to talk about something quite unsettling for me. I mean, it, it's maybe nothing to a lot of people, but when you get the notice, everything that's changing around you so fast, so quick, and it's so extreme and so unrealized, it's really devastating to realize the consequences before it's too late. And I think I want to point them out just now. Um, if you have any suggestions for a new video, please be sure to hashtag talk about it and then the actual question of a, maybe a suggest of a new video because I want to make sure much people from my audience get to see this video although YouTube is censoring everything so you better subscribe so you get to see this content again and we do take our own alternative view to things. So I want to talk about this. I did name this title for exact reason it is. Scotland football fans told off for celebrating win. Now you might be thinking, what are you on about? What are you fucking on about? I'm, I'm warning you right now, I might get into the pissy land later in this video because I have 10 minutes to spare and this is what I've got with it. So, how, how do I summon this up? Well, this is, it, it's taken to be nothing and now it's becoming quite a fucking problem. The, when you used to think about Scotland, that's going to take it the, the stance that everyone doesn't seem to realise, you know, Braveheart. You know that movie Braveheart, where it is the, everyone should be free, kingdom of freedom and country, whatever, bloody hell, Braveheart shite. Terrible movie, honestly, it's not even close to history. Um, it's a big Scottish favourite because it calls out for freedom. And... When you used to get the lead the history of Scotland for the last 300 years, 400 years, it has been quite a significant change of what's been since the when the movie Braveheart was set, you know, for freedom for William Wallace and that, and to what it is now, 2020. 2020 is a fucking disgrace of a year. I mean, we all can agree with that. But 2020 has also gave out the cracks in the actual system that we have in place. We have an entire system now that is reliant on woke agendas, woke things, lefty ideologies, and screwing up people's lives for making certain people who get offended very easily their own way. Now, the, I mean, you can take the stance wherever you like. I mean, I think Scotland is becoming a more of a woke hellhole. I say that for the central belt. It's become a woke hellhole, although I want to live down there. I don't know if I would manage with all the stupid wokeness that's going on down there. Because it's more like, hey, we want to be Scottish, but we want to change Scotland. We want to make Scottish people feel bad for who they are. And this exact moment explains everything. I mean, this would have summoned up the entirety of what's been going on. And you might be thinking, I'm not taking much consideration to this. I mean, this is nothing. But I better show you what I'm on about. So, and it's also really funny in a way, actually, it's actually cringy actually, to watch the way people are reacting and then they're getting boycotted every second second. So, it, and let's go. So, what happened this week was Scotland actually qualified for the Euros, the Scottish football team. Scottish football team, which doesn't usually seem to do very well when it comes to football, okay? It doesn't do well. But it's okay, we still support them because the Tartan army is always behind Scotland. No matter what, the Tartan army is always there, okay? We're always there to support them, and Scotland is always there to support their team, no matter what. But then this time, uh, this week, Scotland qualified for the Euros. An absolute outstanding achievement for the Scottish football team. And there has been a few achievements they have gained throughout the last few weeks and so on with their new management and so on. And they actually gained a position in the Euros, which is a phenomenal thing to happen. And this is a celebrational moment because it's been 22 years since we actually got into the Euros and that was in 98. And 22 years, and you know, Scotland's had every chance, every year, or every championship to go in, and they failed miserably. I'm not saying it's a funny thing, but it's just to say that. So, and 
Scotland wins the champion game, or whatever it was, due to penalties. I don't care about that. What was to happen after that became an absolute clinch fest between people who wanted to listen to the restrictions that's imposed by the new supreme leader, King Jong Nicola, or Kim Jong Kanki, or you want to, you know, celebrate your football team winning for the championship. And this little video that showed up in here, in a little um, place called the Daft Project in Aberdeen, was actually criticised a lot by people who were telling Scottish fans off for celebrating the victory of Scotland. Yeah, welcome to 2020. Instead of celebrating your team for fucking winning a championship, or getting yourself into a good position for a big championship, fucking criticise them. How dare you? But we're going to get that to you in a second. Because what I want to look at here is I want to show you the clip of the people celebrating. And I'm going to ask you a question. If this was any other year, would you be questioning this? Would you? Yes, so what you saw there was victory. Victory of winning the Scotland's Football Cup. Yes, fantastic. And what we I ended up seeing throughout the whole thing was the entire backlash to the whole thing and the controversy to the whole thing. How dare people who were criticising, Oh my God, you're not following the restrictions. Oh no. Well, grow a pair of bars and just don't look at it. People should be allowed to celebrate if they want to celebrate. You cannot take the light away for having that feeling, the human feeling of celebration, joy, happiness. I bet this was the only good thing that's happened to them this entire year. And they thought, you know what, I'm going to go to the pub, I'm going to have a drink, I'm going to watch the game, probably going to lose, but it's alright. Went to it. Went a little bit social, better than your host here that doesn't do that at all. And you know, it's like, it's okay, we we can do this, we can definitely do this, it's it's okay. And then we fucking win! Absolutely fantastic! No! You guys can't have have it. No, no, no. It's it's gotta be one loop for thee and loop for they. Yeah. One for loop for them, not for me. Yeah, you know, that's what it is. Because it's like everyone has to follow the COVID restrictions. Everyone's gotta follow these Coca-Cola restrictions to the fucking letter. To the fucking letter, as long as King John Nicola tells you so. You know, even though the restrictions are coming due today on the 20th of November, the fact that down south in Glasgow, the down there where the infection is supposedly high, although how deadly this is, as I don't know. The fact is, I guess some of you want to protect the old people. But the thing is, you're not helping yourselves at all. Like, you are not helping yourselves in any way. You're calling for independence. You want to back the SMP every fucking step of the way. But you're willing to destroy your moral values as a human being and as a national of your country. That is what I'm accusing you of. You are directly accusing that exact thing you're doing right now. Because how dare you tell people off for not celebrating. If there's something to celebrate, they should be allowed to celebrate in peace. If you didn't like the Brexit result, fine. Don't think about it. Don't look at it. Don't react to it. Don't piss off people in the way that you do, you lefty wokey people. Because although you might think, yes, it's for the protection of the old people, the survival rate is 99.9% .9 for everyone except for anyone who's obese, unhealthy, on drugs, elderly, they should be looked after, but they should also be looked after in another way as well. I mean, like, looking after them like a human being. But you're willing to tear down the fabrication of Scotland 
in its own name. Okay? You are willing... Scotland used to be a nation where we used to be proud of ourselves. We take pride in our country. Scottish people should be proud of their nation. They shouldn't be told, Oh look, you did this one thing of slavery and you should all be punished for it. You shouldn't be like that. You should be Scottish. You should be proud of your country. Uh, look at Braveheart. Again, we're mentioning Braveheart because that whole thing with Braveheart is a culture appropriation of Scotland. We want freedom. We want to be away from the English and so on and so on. You know, we take pride. We take pride in our whiskey. We take pride in our tartan. We take pride in everything we do. We take pride in the fact that people come up to Scotland, they don't go to England, they come to Scotland for look at the tourist destinations, the highlands, natural beauty, they look at everything Scotland has and they're like, wow, look at Scotland, look at these lovely people that come here, we come here and we see lovely people and we see a lovely country that's actually happy with themselves. What the fuck happened to you? I bet more now, I am more ties, I am more relatable to Polish people, and Portuguese people, and French people, and immigrants, than I am with Scottish people. I want to better myself, I want to be proud of my country, and I want to be free. Scottish people seem all of a sudden just to want to get rid of that. Like you are telling these people off right here, that they shouldn't be celebrating. They shouldn't be celebrating a victory, they should be sitting at home, sitting at the table, drinking the beer. Nah, they, let's give them orange juice because they're that bad humans. You know, let's just, let's just punish people, you know? Let's just punish them all. Because every time you say you want freedom, this is true, every time you want freedom, you end up getting a dictator. You say, oh, I want freedom for Scotland, it's alright. I'll get the English to control the UK. It's all right. If I want to be free, okay, that's fine. We'll give you King John Nicola. Uh, we give you a one-party state. We'll give you a use of racist white man thing. And we, we'll give you everything. You know, the center belt has become a woke left hellhole. This whole thing has become a disaster for Scotland. Okay? Let's put it clear. When we're at a stage that we are blaming people for celebrating their country, for celebrating their national football team, we are in a dead serious trouble state. No matter what you think about the restrictions, the lockdowns and so on, this is dead concerning. It's concerning to a lot of people, it's concerning to me, and it should be very, very concerning to the, all the people of Scotland. But I bet you're just that small-minded that you haven't quite figured out what I'm talking about yet. Because this is maybe just that far out of that bubble of yours that you're living in, that woke bubble. Because you're turning Scotland, although you say it's the most progressive cities in the world, progressive as hell, but it's okay. You can have the highest drug death rate in Dundee, but it's okay. At least you got the fucking gay lights, like, correct. Yeah? That's exactly right. And I want to talk a little bit more about what's was getting reported on that night because North Sound, what an absolute embarrassment they were. They said scenes from Daft Project in Aberdeen last night during the Scotland game was widely condemned on social media. Local SP Kevin Stewart and Scottish Hospitality Group have spoken out. Oh, is that so? Is that before or after you absolutely plummeted the hospitality sector into fucking smithereens? Because now I'm seeing hotels businesses, jobs, going down under, because you guys won't let the Scottish people look after themselves. You look after them like little woke babies. And what an absolute joke the, when there was this picture here about the atmosphere building nicely at the head of big kickoff for sports editor Dave Galloway's all set. Oh, that's great, because it's not like we've actually found him celebrating without his mask on, right? <laughs> And the final kicker, the final kicker of the place, was the actual owner of the place itself. What an absolute joke. He wrote an entire statement saying, oh, we should, you know, these people should be punished and so on, so on, and the whole comment. You can leave this thing for yourself. You can leave this for yourself, but that doesn't matter. The guy was sitting in the place where those celebrations were happening. Here's a little green arrow of where the guy was sitting. 
It's not like this guy was in there, he didn't know what was going on. It was the fact that he was sitting in the fucking bar himself, criticizing the people that probably gives him the money that he wants. And I tell him, it's a nice place he has, but fuck you for doing that, criticizing the people who come to your bar and give you the money when every other business has to shut down because of stupid restrictions. Scotland is in a very worrying place right now. And there's lots of sheep out there. And there's not a lot of butchers. There's not a lot of groomers. There's a lot of people losing their jobs. Shetland's leaving. Orkney's leaving. And you're calling for independence now? Scotland needs to wake up before it's too late. Seriously needs to wake up. Because if you don't, Scotland's not going to be a free nation. So guys, thank you for watching this video straight to the very end. So I must have done something like that you've been able to watch this piece of shit long enough. So thank you guys for watching this video right to the end. And if you want to support my channel in any other way, because we are planning to go big on this channel. We are planning to make sure the left knows us. Make sure the cancel culture recognizes we are a threat. Like me and many other creators, our voices are being silenced every and each day. So we must make sure we stand out to the crowd. And I am going to make sure my voice and freedom of speech is going to be there too. And if you want to help me support this, we are on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Parler and Patreon. We're also on BitChute and we also have our own website. So if you want to know any special details, make sure you click onto the Parler app and the bit shoot so we can get more content on this for the special members on those pages and you get to see more events about what I'm doing it's gonna be a lot of interesting stuff you get to see on those things so make sure you sign up to all these different pages where you want to get to see what I'm doing and we could get a lot of interesting stuff going on here guys so thank you for watching this video and see you in the next one and remember hail the Empire